In 1949, the United States Naval Reserve closed a facility desert known as Camp Dunlap. The 630-acre base had served as an artillery training ground for Marines who fought in the Pacific during World War II. Today, all that remains of Camp Dunlap are a few patches of asphalt roadway and the concrete foundations of the former buildings, or slabs. That's why it's become known today as Slab City. Each year, thousands of snowbirds escape the winter cold and make their annual trek to Slab City. There are no utilities, no running water, no electrical hookups. But it doesn't stop the pilgrimage or the nearly 150-odd permanent residents who call Slab City home. The area has been occupied ever since the base was decommissioned. The first squatters were officers stationed at Camp Dunlap. Over time, more people arrived and today there are bars, churches, even a library. But Slab City's most famous attraction has to be a colorful art installation known as Salvation Mountain. The work of this man, Leonard Knight. Barbara Boxer wrote into the Congress to make a national treasure, maybe. Awesome. That's Salvation Mountain. Knight has lived in Slab City since the mid-80s. He came there initially to launch a hot air balloon decorated with the words, God is love. The balloon was a failure, so he started a monument with half a bag of concrete. That first monument failed as shifting sands gave way to wind and weather. What you see today is built from adobe clay, hay bales, car windows, junk, and paint lots of donated paint. The structure known as the museum is modeled after that original hot air balloon. In 2002 the site was proclaimed a national treasure by the US Congress. Today Leonard Knight still lives at the site in his truck, an artwork in itself, and directs the continued building of Salvation Mountain. His only hope is he lives 30 more years because, as he puts it, he has a lot more work to do. Dozens of people visit each day from around the world and offer donations of cash, food, and paint. Lots of paint. I like it when you take pictures of it because they can get it more popular. <laughs> 